Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. <sighs> Are you all wondering why I'm doing this? Well, let me tell you. I'm going to keep telling you. <laughs> um, welcome to Living Out Loud Podcast. That is what I am doing. I am living out loud. And while I'm living out loud, I am going to be healing out loud, becoming, still becoming, um, living out loud. So welcome. Good morning. There is an affirmation that we used to say in the morning at the Christian school. This is how it is that I, this is another reason why I am doing what I'm doing and why I believe I can. The, the affirmation goes like this. I am special. I am loved by God. I will be great. Why? Because God makes me great. And with an attitude of gratitude, I am thankful that God lives in me. I will be a great person because God makes me great. Now, how can I not believe that after saying it over and over and over again and then seeing it over and over and over again? Putting... God, putting people in my way so that I can be great. So yeah. But today's subject matter. <laughs> run, Forrest. Run. From what, Christine? against flesh and blood but against spiritual wickedness in high places y'all I read this book a while back it was so good this present darkness don't ask me who did I get? it was part of a, a trilogy maybe I don't know this present darkness it is so good starts off a little slow earthly realm 
with people who believe, with people who will pray, it is showing us how I got to that spot again. <laughs> so it's showing us how when we pray, we unleash the power the angels in the heavenly realm for them to do what it is that they do do I believe in angels oh yes I do y'all know I do I've been telling you about the angel of my life but you know what she wasn't the only one she was not the only one she was not the only one as a matter of fact there are two women. There were two women in my life that have been in my life for a long, 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 long time. Okay. One of them I am estranged with. The other, we're still very close. So, these women, my age, we all hung out together. And when I was with them, Oh my gosh, I laughed so much. Remember, I hated going home. Didn't want to be in that house at all. Didn't like being around that spirit that was in my house. When I was a child living in my mother's house and when I was married and living, in, living with that narcissistic personality, I did not like being at home. So when I was younger, I had these two ladies who were in my life with me and the thing that they brought to my life the most was laughter oh my goodness they were both hilarious people I learned a lot about humor from them they would say all kinds of stuff just crazy stuff and because I'm a visual person I could see the things that they were saying oh lord they would make me lose my breath on a on a they brought laughter to my life they brought laughter to my life I had a good time I have a good time when I'm with them I don't like driving the trucks behind me. <laughs> but anyway. Laughter. Spirits. Run, Forest, Run. I'm saying that because you all have to be able to recognize unhealthy spirits. First story. I was hanging out with my brother. We, he lived in Any babies alive? 
<laughs> so I used to work with a uh, young lady, nice young lady, pretty young lady, kept her hair done, nails done, soft-spoken, nice young lady. So some of us who worked together were hanging out at her house, uh, playing cards, spades. I love spades, y'all. I love playing spades. As a matter of fact, I want to play some spades somewhere, probably at my place of work. Anybody interested in the spade, nice spades game? Cards tournament? <laughs> Put it in the comment section. Okay? Holler back at a player. And when I say a player, that's what I mean. I am a spades player. I don't care what the people around me, my friends say. They can't tell me nothing. They can't tell me nothing. Because I ran a blind. A blind Boston. Did you hear what I said? Me and my partner ain't never been done before. Probably ain't never been done since. Blind Boston. We were losing anyway. We were like, you know what? Come on, let's just do it. Anyway, that was our digression. Spirits. We were at uh, her house, hanging out, drinking, playing cards, drinking, drinking, and smoking, smoking. Don't judge me, people. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um. So yeah. One of my, my buddy, one of the two, came to the house. She had, she was, she had been at the club. <laughs> and so, she was real good at meeting people, forming fast friendships. So she brought a couple of uh, Navy guys over to the house. Until I read 
realized that Jin made me want to fight. Made me angry. Didn't want to fight. Well, I am not the fighting kind. Okay? I am a uh, non-violent. <laughs>
needed to be locked up. Uh, exacto knives need to be under lock and key, and they need not be able to get access to it. So my kidney table was in front of the uh, storage cabinets. So you can only get to me from this side or that side. And I did not allow them to stand in those two openings. Uh, they could sit, there were chairs on the outside of that kidney table and they would come and sit at that table to talk to me and to talk to each other, okay? Uh, sometimes when I was sitting there and there was conversation going on, I was just listening. I was just listening. And I might ask a question here or there, but for the most part, well, no, that's not true either. Sometimes I was listening and then sometimes I was, I was talking. I was running my mouth. I had already given the lesson for the day. I'd given the lesson. I'd given the instruction. They were working on their art pieces. Now, the serious art students, they were working on their art pieces. The other ones who just wanted to be somewhere, if they weren't in the gym playing basketball, they were they were in the computer lab or they were in my room. Okay? Because they liked being around me to run. Anyway, one particular day. Okay, nope. Let me back up. Two people. Pretty black girl. She was a senior. Pretty black girl. Smart. But remember now, we are in an alternative school. These people are persona non grata in their schools. So that's why they are there. Pretty black girl. And uh, him. We're just going to call him him. He. He and him is him. table were there for him they liked him he was a cool guy he was charming he was funny okay so I, I think a lot of the times they were there for him uh, he was there for me because he thought I was hilarious and he liked being at that kidney table and he wasn't doing any artwork no way so it was okay that was fine I didn't have a problem with it but this day, this particular day, there was a whole lot of scuttlebutt going on in the room, in the class. They weren't sitting at the kidney table. They were out there in the classroom. They weren't talking to me. But I was listening. Couldn't really get the, the whole, but this is kind of sort of what I got. Somebody was somewhere where they shouldn't have been uh, firing off a gun shooting at folk okay now let me tell you why I think that I was there at that school at that time purpose to be there and it was not to teach art um, I had a whole lot of heart to heart conversations but this is the one that I'm gonna that I'm focusing on because I'm talking about spirits and in particular that Hennessy spirit okay so um, it was the end of the day 
and they came in and they being him and he was sitting there at the kitchen table on that side and her she was sitting on the other side the pretty black girl they were sitting there they weren't talking to me they were talking to each other but clearly they didn't have a problem with me listening <laughs> they were sitting at my table okay all right so i'm listening And now it all becomes clear. One, they are a couple. They like each other. Okay. I get that. He a cute guy. She a pretty girl. He's charming. He's funny. But on the weekend, guess what he likes to do? He likes to drink that Hennessy. He likes that spirit. And who he became. Oh, let me tell you who he became. He became that asshole. Who pulled out a gun who was someplace he shouldn't have been. He was in somebody else's neighborhood. Well, I, you know what? I think he was in her neighborhood. Pulled out a gun. Started shooting. Pow, 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 pow. And guess what? One of those bullets went past her head. <laughs> All those months, all of those weeks, all of those conversations, all of that time around the kidney table was for this moment right here. I ain't know this girl. I told you she just ended up in the class every once in a while. She probably just came to see him. But I heard some things at that kidney table. One, I heard that she was a smart girl. Two, I heard that she was a senior. She was on her way out of here. I'd heard some things about him. He was 16. He didn't like being in school. He would do something at the beginning of the school year and spend the rest of the year there at the alternative school. That's where he wanted to be. Okay. Uh, he was drunk. Someplace where he shouldn't have been. with a gun, firing it off on the weekend, because that's who he becomes on the weekend. Y'all, I promise you, I put my hands up to him. Remember, I like this guy, okay? He likes me, but this ain't about him right now, okay? I turned my whole body to her, and I started talking to her and I, I know, I know what I said to her, she, she heard it. I said, Shug, <laughs> darling, <laughs> baby honey, <laughs> I know why you like him. I know why you like him, he's funny, he's cute. He's charming. During the week. But who he is on the weekend, you don't want no parts of that. You don't want any part of it. You're about to graduate. <laughs> he is not. You have your whole life in front of you. He is who he is during the week. But who he is has to include who he is on the weekend. And if you don't want to deal with who he is on the weekend, 
then you have to let go of who he is during the week. Run, Forrest. Run. You don't want no parts of that. No parts. <laughs> none of it. You don't want none of that spirit. None of it. None of it. None of it. I can feel his eyes boring into me. He didn't like what I was saying. I didn't give a ding dong. This wasn't for him. He had a decision to make. He had to decide whether he was going to keep drinking. But she had a she had a bigger decision to make. Who he is. That clown that pulled out a gun and started firing it into the community. That's that Hennessy spirit. Got in the babies alive. Eventually she asked him, well, do you have any dead? <laughs> It, cha it changes you, these spirits, these spirits. So, yeah, spirits. That narcissistic spirit. <laughs> you don't want any parts of it. Learn the warning signs, people, please. Parents, teach your children the warning signs of narcissistic and unhealthy behaviors please just like you sh you have taught them that if they see a container with the skulls and crossbones do not ingest that stuff that is poison it is going to hurt you bad it might even kill you don't do it what i'm saying to you y'all <laughs> is that these narcissists Blah, 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 blah. These narcissistic uh, behaviors. You don't want any parts of it. Okay? It's not going to change. They're not going to take responsibility for anything that they do. It is always, always, always going to be your fault or somebody else's fault. Now, can God change all of that? Yes, I believe in the power of prayer and all of that other razzmatazz but you know what how how I was delivered he didn't he didn't heal him he put it in his heart to leave he left me y'all <laughs> what squirrel <laughs> Jesus I swear some squirrels I think are suicidal um he left me he left me why because my prayer changed I told y'all I got married and very shortly after I got married I realized that I had done a really bad 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 thing I had up to I had linked <laughs> yoked myself to this personality so I began to pray and I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed I prayed Lord help me Lord uh, keep me and then I, it was Lord change me give me strength blah 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 and then it was okay all right, Lord. <laughs> Look, I know. I know that I did this. I did this. This was a, a, and you give me free will. I did it. I did it. I heard you clearly warning me not to do it. And I did it anyway. Now, <laughs> I'm asking you, Lord, please deliver me from this thing that I have gotten myself into. And I don't really care, Lord, how you do it. You can run them over with a Mack truck all I can. All I know, Lord, is that I want out. I want out of 
this situation. That's how I go. That's how I pray. <laughs> That's how I talk to God. I keep sitting here with him all the time. And very shortly, very shortly, but well not short enough for me, but at some point, he decided that he was out. He did not want to be someplace where he was not loved and respected. Okay. All right. I don't care what your reason is for going. Just go. Get to get. That ain't love, I know. Again, I need for God to change me. Work on me. But that was the truth of the matter. I didn't want any parts, any parts, <laughs> any parts of him any longer. Spirits, that spirit, that not, I hated it, hated being around it, didn't want to be around it anymore. I wanted it gone. Anywho, Thank you all for riding with me. If, if you are in a friendship, new friendship, new relationship with somebody that you think is, is unhealthy in their behavior, do your research. Do your research. See if their actions are lining up with the... And if they are, my advice to you is to run. Run forest run okay so that is it for now I am going to bid you all adieu and why am I doing this physician that's what he said to me heal thyself and that's exactly what I'm going to do out loud so y'all come on heal with me Try not to judge me too harshly. And know that I love you to life. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, wait a minute. Uh, go to my YouTube channel, please. Hit the like button. Please subscribe. And if you like these videos, hit the notification bell. It kind of appears that I'm going live every day that I work. I didn't work yesterday. Um, but I want to increase my YouTube following. So I need for y'all to go on over there to YouTube and do what I'm asking you to do. Subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell, and definitely share these uh, videos, okay? All right. I love you all to life. Bye now.